welcome to day three of my Teddy and Tangerine tutorial. Today we're going to look at the tangerine and see what we need to make that tangerine look really juicy and, and um, get the texture of it really nice. And I think what we're going to need today is we're going to need a, a few colour pencils. We're going to need a pink pencil or a, a pinkish red pencil, an orange pencil and a light brown pencil if you have any of those. If you don't have those and you've got say an orange and a black or an orange and a dark brown, you could use that as well. Or if you've just got red, that's fine. You can just use red. And then the other thing that we're going to need is our basic watercolors. So we just need three colors and you can just use an ordinary watercolor set for this. It doesn't have to be fancy. And you just need blue, yellow and red. So those are the three colors. You don't need a proper palette. You can use a saucer. Just make sure it's one that um, isn't, isn't crazed or got a crack in it so that the color doesn't become permanent. It's really important to have somewhere to, um, that you can use to mix out the color, but then you can also wash away. And any old paintbrush will do. I've just got a size four brush here, but um, you know, if you've got a brush that came with a paint set, that would be fine. So we've already done Teddy's head and Teddy's scarf. And if you want to catch up, we've got those videos already available. And now we're going to do the tangerine. And before I paint the tangerine or color the tangerine in, I'm just gonna very lightly erase the um, outline. So that's just sort of slightly losing some of the hard edge to it. We don't want it to look like it's got a big black circle around it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put all the little dots on and this is something we're gonna to put to music so that you can catch up and do the dots um, along with us and get your uh, materials ready and um, just basically put some nice music on or listen to the music that we put with it. So what you want to do is look at your picture and, and you can see these lovely little dots all over the tangerine skin. And what we're going to do is put the dots on with three colors. So if you've got an orange, a brown and a red, we're gonna put the dots on in different colors. So if I look at this bit, it's quite red here. And what you want to do is keep your pencil right up on its tiptoe and just slightly wiggle it to make a dot. And what the pattern usually is very random, but I found a good way of doing a nice random pattern. And that's you put the dots on in a circle like so, and then come back into the middle. And then from one of those other dots, go round in a circle and come back into the middle. And you end up getting a really nice little pattern going. What you don't want is lots of dashes. So if you do make a dash, try and um, use the eraser just to rub it away. Um, but don't rub too hard because you don't want to ruin your paper. But just try and keep your pencil right on its point and try and just make a nice little dot like that. So we're going to go round in a circle, dot, 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 and then back into the middle. And then from one of the dots, start another circle. Like so. And we want to get them that sort of distance apart. If you have a look at the dots on your tangerine, you'll see that some of them are lighter. So where it's lighter, just move to your orange pencil and do the same again. And then as it goes underneath the tangerine, you'll see it gets darker. So where you go underneath the tangerine, just change to a brown. Just like so. So what we're going to do is we're going to put dots over the whole of the tangerine. And if you don't see the dots, then you can leave a little um, empty space. So up here, you don't see the dots very much. You can either leave, leave an empty space or you can just do them a little bit lighter. So don't maybe push really hard. Let's put some music on and let's get dotting.
So now that you've got all your dots on, I want you to use your orange pencil and do a little bit of shading. And all you do is just do nice little sort of round circles like that and start putting in some of these little pleats that go around the top of the tangerine. I'm just going to use the orange to start with and just get the nice little pleats shaded. Just use the, like I say, the top of your pencil tip and pull it out to make these little star shapes at the top of the tangerine. And then once you've done that with the tangerine, then do the same again with a little bit of your pink or red. Just a little bit lighter, just to sit over the top. And then press a little bit harder to go around the, um, the top of the tangerine. That's where it was attached to the stem. And if you look closely on, your, on your, the top of your tangerine, you'll see there's four little um, sepals that, ca that were sort of sitting around the, the, the fruit before it started bursting out. And that's why it's all pleated in there. And that's where it joined onto the plant and a little um, scar left from where the stem was joining. So all we're going to do is just go a little bit dark around there to get that sort of feeling of like a, a pin cushion where everything's pulling in. And we'll pull some of that pin cushioning out this way as well. A little bit of pink and orange going that way. So once you've done that, take your orange pencil and lay it on its side or sort of at an angle and just very gently shade around where your really bright light is. So my bright light is over here and we're just going to shade around so that we know where that's going to be when we start putting our watercolour on. And then you can just very gently add a little bit of your orange like that, just shading very lightly. And there's some more light around this side. So we're going to leave a little gap for that. Just leave what you can, see how it goes. And again, the rest of the tangerine, we're just going to put a little shade of orange on it. All the way over like that, just nice long loops. Don't press too hard because we're going to put an orange wash over the top. I'm going a little bit carefully now around the outside to get the edge of my tangerine and just make it a little bit darker. Now when you get close to the middle, just press your, um, your pencil just a little bit harder, just to get a little bit more colour from it. And also on the underneath, you can use your pink or red pencil just to do the same again over the top. Change angles, if you can't get it to go on smoothly, make sure that you change angles so that all of your marks aren't all going in the same direction. It's just really to get a little bit of darkness down here as the tangerine sits on the table. So the next thing we're going to do is use some watercolour and we're going to mix red and yellow together. So mix a nice big puddle of your yellow and add a little bit of red. Now if you've got pink in your set, so if your watercolour set has got some lovely pink in it, you could use pink instead and that will give you a brighter orange. 
And also if you have some lemon in your set, so if you've got some bright yellow lemon, you can add that to make your orange. So, um, but if you've only got the pink, the yellow and red, then have more yellow and just a little bit of red. Um, but if you have pink, add some pink and you'll get a, a much brighter tangerine colour. Add lots of your yellow so that you make sure that your yellow is the dominant colour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water just to see how much orange we need to put on to the tangerine. We're just going to glaze over our shading with some water. Now some colour pencils will give off a little bit of colour and they're called water soluble pencils and if you've got those you'll get a little bit of colour coming out but if your pencils are a waxy pencil then you'll just get a water, a water glaze in which case you want to just pick up some of your colour and put on some of your tangerine colour instead. So I'm going to pick up my tangerine colour I'm going to take it over the top of all the dots and the shading around the top of the tangerine and then when it comes near to the highlights I'm just going to use water like so and make sure that I don't put any colour over where I want it to be nice bright and white just use the damp brush just to pull the orange in to create the the dappled light and then pick up your orange and continue to glaze it over the top of the rest of your tangerine. Doesn't matter if you go over the edge a little bit because we're going to put the furry teddy bear all around it. Once you've got your first layer of paint on, let it dry, it's really important to let it dry and you'll find that it's wetter at the bottom than it is at the top and if you haven't used too much water you'll find that you'll be able to go back up to the top. Add a little bit more pink or red to your orange so that you end up with a darker orange colour and then you can just tap in very lightly around the top just to make it even darker and more pinched you can put in those nice little creases with the darker orange. If you do three or four little um, star shapes like that and then with a clean damp brush, so wash your brush, roll it on the flannel like so and then just very gently just catch either side of those little star shapes with some water. Don't put the brush into it otherwise you'll just wipe it away. Just put the brush either side like so and you'll get that lovely cushioned effect. Now, do you remember how we did the teddy bear head? We did lots of little tiny dashes and that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pick up some of our lovely orange colour on our, on our paintbrush and then what we're going to do is just very gently tap it, but quite randomly on our tangerine to try and get a sort of spotty texture to it, like so. And this is with the paint. So we're going to dot, 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 dot. 
and then have another puddle which you mix up which is slightly darker so use your yellow and your red mix it up so it's a little bit darker and we're going to use that dark tangerine colour to sit along the bottom. Make sure you get a nice edge like that with your brush. Turn it round if you need to so you can see the edge and then tap into it like so. Tap, tap, tap. And this way we can get that nice texture to our, to our orange but also we can start making it darker. So I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Picking up my darker orange, I'm going to put my darker orange in here and around the edge and then tap, tap, tap. So my brush isn't very wet, you can see that I'm picking up the colour, it's not too wet. So as you, if you run out of colour, don't, don't worry, just pause me and mix up some more colour and then carry on. Tap, 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 tap. Can you see we're starting to make it look much rounder and much more textured. And we don't, we don't want our tangerine to look fluffy, so what we want to do then is clean all the water, all the paint out of our brush and just have water on it. And then just very gently, where you've got it coming towards your highlights, just use your damp brush. So take all the water out of it and just tap the edge of your texture so you get it a little bit smoother where it gets near the light. Clean it, dry it out and then just catch the edge like that. And what you're doing is you're softening away some of those hard edges to make the tangerine look smoother. Now if your tangerine doesn't look smooth, what you can do is put your brush down and use your coloured pencil and you can very gently soften next to the highlight with your coloured pencil. Just use it very, very lightly so it just picks up a little bit of colour from the tooth of the paper and that way you can just graduate your colour towards the highlights. So. If you want to, you can wait for that to dry. It's going to dry very quickly. You can add some more pink or red to it. And for the very dark area up here, we can add a bit more of that dark pinky orange. I'm just going to add a little bit more here where it's against the light and a little bit more in there and a little bit down here. Let's pick up and put some really nice dark orange down here. You see all those little dots are shining through but they're not so loud that you're aware of them um, as little um, pencil dots. They're just very subtle. And then we do the same again using our clean damp brush just to soften where we've finished putting that orange on. Just catch the edge of it with your brush. Just gently encourage it to soften in. So what if you've lost your highlights? Well, you could do something um, like we did with Ted's fur. You could have a bit of kitchen towel and then you get, get your um, watercolour brush and then you can just wiggle where you want to lift some colour and dab some colour off. So if you do feel like you need to make a little bit more of the highlights at the top of the um, fruit, you can just soften in with your brush, give it a little scrub and then with a clean bit of tissue just lift away and that should lift out some nice light for you. So don't panic if you lose your light, there's always a way out. Well not always but there usually is. <laughs> so we're getting some nice light there and you can also bring back a little bit of light, whoops don't go over the edge, elsewhere if you wanted to. Just remember if you're working on a paper that's really flat and maybe is just a cartridge paper, you won't be able to do too much while it's wet. So let each layer dry. So just slow down, give your paper a chance to recover and then you should be able to put on some more colour. So the next thing to do is just to do the little top bit of the tangerine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit of green with my colours. So I've got uh, my lovely blue and my lovely yellow mix them together and you should end up with a really nice green. 
make it not too dark and then just paint in a tiny little circle so we keep the bit where it's attached to the stalk we keep that white for now and then just very gently fill in around with the green just using the tiptoe of your brush the very top of your brush is really important for all the detail that's going to dry really quickly but while we're waiting for it to dry we can replace some of the dots where we've lost them so come back and put in some more of your little dots if you need to and change and mix and match with different colours so that you get a nice random feel to the dots on your tangerine so if they got washed away or you feel they need to be a bit stronger you can put them back on so if you feel they've got a little bit lost or they need to be a little bit more random you can just put them back on and if you put them back on too heavily don't worry you can just go over with your um, wet or damp brush and just soften them away or you could add some more colour over the top if you felt that they were just too loud when I say loud I mean too bold so okay we can come back to the middle now so what I want to do is use my pencil because this is a nice easy way of doing it so I'm just going to draw around the top of the the, pat, the, bit, the, the remainder of the stem and then just get a nice little shape pulled out for each of these little tiny tiny little stocky little sepals and then all I'm going to do then with my brown pencil is just put a little bit of shade around the stem and with my black pencil I'm going to put a nice little dark outline so that, that these really sit deep into the centre of the tangerine and then if you water down or lighten your green you can just add some more yellow to it to make it lighter and water, and water to make it paler you can just very gently tap in a light colour for the stalk top it doesn't need to be any more detailed than that because we're just doing this for fun so we're going to let that dry now and I hope you've enjoyed day three of our Teddy and Tangerine tutorial. Tune in tomorrow at the same time and we'll start to build his upper body. Mm -hmm.